So I'm, uh, I'm Freddie Harris III from Stone High School. I'm 16 years old and I'm here talking about the Tony Robinson event. Upon hearing about the Tony Robinson event, I was at my house just scrolling down Facebook when I came across the police report and everyone in my school was sharing it. I uh, began to read it and I started hearing a bunch of different controversy on what really happened. And from what I gathered from what happened, it was that Tony had assaulted the officer and he pulled out his gun and shot him five times. Now I first started thinking about this. I'm like, I don't know, I was confused. Like, if a man starts attacking you, why do you have to take his life? I mean, officers go through all this training at the police academy to use self-defense, use baton, to use a taser, takedowns, all that, hand-to-hand -hand combat. For some reason, this officer felt as if he had to shoot him. I mean, if officers really feel like the gun's the only way to take down a black man, why even go to police academy? I think you just sign up for a three-month seminar at a firing range, just leave it at that. If not, it just, I don't know, I think it really gets to me, and honestly, I felt, felt shocked. I mean, these are the people we're supposed to protect and serve. These are people we look up to and we need help. If it comes to just shooting every single person who attacks us, why not just give every civilian a gun and just leave it at that? Uh, I try to contemplate why this happened. I think to myself, why this happened? I mean, I honestly think it was a huge race card. I think if this was a white male who went and attacked him, then he would have took him down, arrested him, Miranda rights, he went to court and let the jury decide. But because this is a black man attacking him, he felt the need to shoot him. The event itself is kind of ridiculous because the way the media plays it, when it's brought up at my school, a lot of people are talking about the only reason mad is because this man is black. All the media shows is a black man dying. Well, if you want to wonder why, why a black man's voice is amplified every single young black man is shot down on the street, truth is, I think it's because we're still upset over Trayvon Martin. I mean, that was the first big case where no one got justice. Michael Brown, he got shot multiple times. He didn't get justice. There was the man in New York, I can't remember his name, who was choked to death because he was selling illegal cigarettes. It's just there's all this police brutality going on, but it's kind of more not really a coincidence so what's happened to the black population. So in conclusion, why I think this happened, I honestly think that he was shot five times due to his race. Yeah. I, I'm real. I'm 16. Uh, I was at the crib. I woke up at like 12 in the morning and I had saw on Facebook a whole bunch of people sharing something about Tony Robinson getting killed by the police and stuff. And when I first saw it, I just saw R.I.P. and all that. And so I I just was like, you know, where I'm from, people die almost every day. So it wasn't nothing new to me. And he ain't really like, I don't know him, so it ain't affect my life in no way. Like, But at the same time, people people overdoing the part of uh, the Black Lives Matter. Like, as an African-American male, I would say Black Lives Matter, but all lives matter. And when you look at it, if you do research like an actual smart person, you would realize that more white people have been killed by the police in the year 2014 than African-American people. So it ain't about race. It's just the police think that they can kill and shoot anybody that they want to. And it is a growing problem, but at the same time, it ain't a racial conflict because it's only racial when a white person kill a black person. But... When a black person kill a black person, ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody going around protesting after this black person just shot this black person. But as soon as a white person up a gun, no matter he a police or just a neighborhood watchman, he shoot a black kid, a black male, black female, it's a riot. It's everybody going up. And to me, I feel like the African-American, y'all being racist by making it seem like just because he was white, that's why he shot him. Like, at the same time... He just did it because he feel like he above the law. Cause he, cause who gon' who gon' take who gon' who you gon' call on the police? The police is the police, so that's why he did it. He felt like he could shoot him and get. He know he gonna get away with it, and that's the big that's the big issue. All the police, all these police officers getting away with killing unarmed people, innocent people. They getting away with it, and the crazy part about it is it was just a shooting at West Town Mall and on Russia Road where a young male got shot five times, and the police assured. Everybody in Madison that nothing like this would have happened no time soon, at least. 
But then again, the next weekend, we got the police shooting an unarmed male five times. So And they killed the boy. So it's like, really, they some hypocrites because they talking about the gun violence and how it needs to stop. But they just, they, out of all the shootings out here, nobody's really been killed. But they killing. They shooting to kill. And it's a real big problem. The police is out here shooting any and everybody, not just African American or Caucasian or Asian. They killing everybody and anybody who they feel like is a threat. And that's just sad that people can't realize that we all we all American. We not just black or white or all these different races. We all one nation and the police is killing us. It's the police and it's like the police is just another game to me because all they they walk around with their guns and they ride around and do what they want to do and that's just how I feel like. My name is Brandon Higgins and I'm from La Falla High School and I'm 16. What I think about this situation is like, I've been through the same type of thing. When I hit the police officer, they tased me. So I'm kind of I'm kind of confused with the fact that they felt the need that they had to kill him. And it's like, when you think about that, it's like, you see police, like if I were to do that to a police, it wouldn't be the same type of situation to a uh, police. And then it's like you see you see all these people out here supporting the fact that he's not that he should he like they should have just tased him or something. There was no reason for him to get shot five times, no matter what he did, no matter what he said, no matter the actions that have been brought upon the police officer. And so, I mean, there's nothing really to it. I just, you you look and you look around all around this. This been going on for longer than just the Trayvon Martin situation. It's been going on for years, and I'm it's kind of it's getting tiring when you consistently seeing black people die for no apparent reason. I mean, I, I would understand if we were doing something that may threaten your life, but I'm pretty sure not, none of this uh, sort was going on, and it's just irritating, I guess. My name is Dorian Watkins. I'm 15, and. How I found about by the Tony Robertson, how I found out how he got killed was the day when I came home from school and my auntie had told me about it and she was like that he had got killed by a police officer and stuff. And like and then like to me, it was really irritating to me because like if he wasn't armed or nothing like that, or he had no gun on him or nothing like that, why you had to kill him? Like police officers got tasers and all that. So at where I'm from, like a police officer there just slam you on your stuff and just like, you know, call it a day, lock you up and call it a day. But to this, in this event, you just had to pull out your gun and, like, that's not cool. Like, that's not cool at all. You have to kill somebody, take somebody's life for something that's not even that serious. Like, you could have easily just, you know, got the situation under control, but you had to take somebody's life. And that's, what I, that's how I think. So why do you think it happened? Huh? Why did it happen? I really think it happened because, like, he just, I really had to think it is. He just, it was just to me like he was just, you know, at the time, he probably wasn't just, to me, he probably wasn't thinking right. And he just, you know, did something serious or then other than he could just put out his taser. Like, to me, that ain't that serious. You could have, you know, just got the situation under control or called another officer like they normally do. In this situation, you just go by yourself and you just you do this. Like, that's not normal to nobody. Like, to me, I don't, I don't think it was a racial thing. I don't think it was on, on purpose to me. I think it was just, to me, like, both of them weren't thinking. He was the officer one thinking, and he wasn't thinking to me. That's how I feel like it was to me. That's how I feel like it happened. Like I don't really think that neither one of them was thinking about what their choices was at the time. And the officer, I really think that if you just come out and tell everybody the truth, what really happened, like this all can just be settled with and over and done with. But you know that's never gonna happen because the police officer he gonna say his side of the story. Tony's not here to say his side of the story, so it's like it's not gonna be really, really justice because they gonna automatically believe his side because he's not here to say what happened, the really truth. So to me, I think it was just wrong to me all together. Like both of them, in my opinion, both of them was wrong to me, but the biggest opinion to me is that the officer was wrong for killing him because that, that ain't, that ain't, that wasn't that serious to do that for that. Like you could have let easy call back up like they normally do, but in this situation, just one car, like really, and then it was some witnesses outside, and somebody whoever was out there could just step forward and tell the really truthful was about it. 